So welcome to the social trading webinar. If you are watching the recorded version of this, it was held live on Tuesday, the 19th of July at 7.30 in the evening. My name is David Jones and um, over the course of the next 30 minutes, I'm going to just talk through um, social trading, how it works, and we'll do some real examples um, as well. My background is uh, in the sort of spread betting and CFD industry. I worked in it for uh, the last 10 years uh, and sort of left at the end of 2013 to have a bit of a break and I've not done much with sort of spread betting or CFD companies since then but um, I've always been aware of social trading and I thought after investigating it that actually you know it's something um, that can be quite complementary uh, to other forms of trading or investing that we might do but we'll get into that as we go through this evening uh, while I'm talking away I'll just put up the risk warning there uh, so you can see it. So tonight, um, the vast majority of tonight's presentation will actually do on the social trading platform. So we'll do it using um, real examples rather than pages and pages uh, of slides. So if you do have any questions, feel free uh, to, if you're here live, obviously, to send them in um, via the chat box that you have at your end uh, of the webinar. The idea of social trading is straightforward enough. You know what we're looking to do is um, follow other traders and basically mimic automatically uh, the trades that they do and hopefully it results in a profit uh, for us it's been around for a while but I don't think it's ever really taken off that much uh, in the UK so I've been uh, I started using it a few months ago I was impressed um, by the results and the approach so that's why I'm doing uh, a bit more and doing these webinars now but for now let's just um, flip over and let me show you the screen so what i've got um so i this is uh doing this webinar with aondo uh who are a, a company uh, originally a german company they have an office in the uk regulated by the financial conduct authority in the uk and also baffin uh over in germany um but let me just show you uh what i'm looking at here so i'm going to flip my screen over so this is a list of um traders on the Aondo platform who um, have opened up their trades uh, for people to see and follow if they want to. So how it works is, you know, if you want to just do normal spread betting or CFDs with Aondo, you can, but um, really what Aondo are is a, a social trading broker. So if you want to, you can open up your trades, have people uh, follow them automatically and um, hopefully profit from them. Uh, so if you scroll down, what I've got here, this is the ranking list from the Aondo website, and I've sorted it initially just by uh, number of followers. So we can see uh, who the popular traders have been and are currently. So at the top, we have this one, Mr. Dax. He's got 2,000 followers. Uh, then we have Simply Trader uh, with uh, just under 2,000 followers. Then Halo 84, 1,096. And so it goes on. Um, and if we stick with Mr. Dax uh, for now, let's just go through some of the data we have here. So again, as a client, you'll be able to see all this stuff and decide what sort of people that you might want to start following. Career, there are various steps uh, that traders can go through in terms of experience and profitability uh, with Aondo. Uh, the last time they placed their trade, so again, Mr. Dax is a name that crops up quite often. He's quite an active trader and he placed uh, his last trade three hours ago. Uh, this, this time period that we're looking at, this is performance over the last six months. He has had a uh, good, good long-term performance, but the last six months, I think for a few traders, has been a bit tricky. So overall, his profit and loss is down um, just over 2.5% over the last six months. Maximum drawdown, this is how much of the profit from the profit peak has the trader given back. So let's say the account had made... Um, £20,000 over the last six months, how much has it dropped back from that peak, the maximum amount? So in this case, uh, just, just under 18%. Monthly volatility, the lower, I think the better if you want low monthly volatility. Uh, you'll see, again, you can sort of judge traders and pick traders based on their volatility. How many followers? How active they are? You can see Mr. Dax here does 107 trades uh, on average per month compared to the one below, Simply Trader does um, just over 21 trades on average uh, per month. And for me, this is always the interesting one uh, over here, the chart. So this lets me see 
well, how consistent has their P&L been? And you can see Mr. Dax had a good run, and it's maybe tailed off a little bit uh, in recent months, uh, but looking below, there's Simply Trader, then Halo84, who's made, uh, over the last six months, 22% return, which is a cracking return. Uh, maximum drawdown is 18, 18.5%, and there you can see the chart of the P&L. So straight away, using uh, the platform, you get, a, you get, I think, a really interesting snapshot of who maybe the best performing traders are, who the popular traders are, and how they may fit with your particular trading style. So let's click, for example, on Halo 84. Let's find out a bit more about this person. So we'll click through to them. So we get to see their trading profile page. So last trade was on the 19th of July. That was today uh, at 8 a.m. this morning. Just over a thousand followers. Uh, and it's been, uh, ah, that means it's been a real money trader since September 2015. So what the Aonda platform shows you, there are people who trade effectively on demo accounts uh, and they can show their results and you can follow them if you want. And there are also people who trade with their own real money. So R and R in the picture here means this, this person is a real money trader. The star in their picture uh, means they're a popular trader. So the ones who've got lots of followers will have the star next to them. So there we have uh, the trading strategy, a PhD economist and for almost 10 years after we trade the markets. Uh, began to develop a trading algorithm for short-term trading. Uh, and then we have all the details there. Uh, then we can scroll down, we can see that's the performance. So it got off to a, a bit of a bump in the beginning, down about 14% in the beginning, but since then has managed to turn what looks like a fairly consistent uh, P&L. And if I want to, I can say, well, what's the performance been over the last seven days? It's like a little bit down, down 1% over the last seven days, what it's been like over the last month, uh, it's down slightly, down 4% over the last month, what's it been like over the last three months, uh, a slight profit over the last three months. So you can really drill down and see um, you know, how their performance has been and whether it's a trader that you might like to follow. Click on transaction history. If you wanna get even more detail, you can scroll through and see any open positions they've got, and any positions that they got that, that they've closed. You can scroll back down and see all the different trades, the various trades that this individual trader uh, has done. So there's a whole load of data there, but let's go back to the find top traders page. I've got a couple of accounts uh, that I'm running here. I did I did um, a, a demo account initially. So if you sign up for an account, you can, you can run a demo for three months. I did a demo, not three months, three weeks, sorry. I did a demonstration account for three months just to get to grips with how it all works. And it made 15% in a month, but with massive swings in terms of profit or loss, profit and loss. And I thought, I really don't want that sort of volatility. And I think the best way to learn this stuff is to do it with real money, uh, but to do it small. So I'll, have, I'll show you in a second, uh, one of the smaller accounts I've got set up just for these, these demonstrations. And then I've got another account running uh, with other traders on it. But let's go, if, if I'm looking, if we're looking for you know people to find, what sort of filters uh, might we use? Let's click on a uh, P&L. We might want to sort people by their profit and loss. We want to find the profitable trader. So here we go. The best performing trader um, over the last uh, six months uh, out of, I think, seven, 1,779 traders who make their accounts available is this one, 2016D, who's made a profit of 355% uh, over the last uh, six months, maximum drawdown of 60%. So gave back uh, half of that and more massive monthly volatility uh, it's got 12 followers and does 54 trades uh, a month let's just have a click and have a look let's see how long this person has actually been trading for they may only have registered relatively recently there we go member since May uh, 2016 so performance since registration has more than trebled uh, the account since then if we look at the last month the last month up 200% over the last month, the last seven days, uh, 40 up 40 percent. The last seven days, so it gives you a feel for for what sort of things people are doing. But this person is not trading with a real account. You can see there's no R next to their name. So for me, it's one of the things that does put me off. I do tend to think, well, if you haven't got the confidence to trade with your own money, why do I want to follow you with my uh, real money? And if we if we go down here. The third best performing trader over the last six months has been this one, Trade Goat, who you can see here from the R, 
is a real money trader, uh, made 186% over the last six months. Pretty big drawdown. Ended, well, actually, that is a big drawdown. Giving back almost 90% uh, of the account of the profits. And you can see here from the chart, had a really tricky time and seems to have has turned it around uh, recently. Let's have a click on that and have a look at a bit more detail. Uh, here we go. So performance and registration, you can see their the lifetime of their account, they've lost half of the account. They've been registered since, uh, looks like April 2014, uh, but has turned it around this year. If we look at the last, um, the last three months, we should see something of a turnaround. There we go. A profit over the last few months. So it's um so you, again you could follow this trade and take the view. Well, actually, it looks like maybe they've managed to turn their fortunes round and they're getting to grips uh, with trading and they are a real money trader, you know. But it gives you uh, an insight into their their profit or loss. And I think really it's the, it's these filters, you know, what you what you use to try and find people to follow. That's probably the key thing here. So I'll just flip back onto the the slideshow just for a second. And take you through some of the possible filters and some of the ones I use. So first of all, real money traders. So for me, if I'm going to follow them with 500 quid, 5,000 quid, 50,000 pounds, whatever, you know, I'd rather they were trading with their own money. I do have, I think, one or two people uh, on an account I'm following who don't have real money, but I'd rather be, they were doing it with real money if I'm using my real money. Uh, a smooth historical P&L. My background is uh, technical analysis. So for me, um, you know, I, I like trends. So what I want to see in an ideal world is, let's see if we can find one. Ideally, I suppose, you know, something like this one here, hopefully you can see on your chart that this is Hectorious. So something like this one here where we have a nice steady trend. You know, I don't, you know, I think if you're trying to make 300% a year, you're going to be taking some pretty, pretty big risks. For me, in a low interest rate environment, if someone can sit there and crunch out one or 2% a month, um, that's, a, that's a cracking performance. So for me, I want to see um, a relatively smooth uh, profit and loss profit and loss charts. That's a big thing for me. Uh, also, a healthy P&L versus drawdown ratio. So it's all well and good if someone makes a 300% return. But if by making a 300% return, they end up giving back 85% of their profits, for example, that is volatility that I really don't want. You know, for me, this is meant to be complementary to my own trading, you know, so I, I can have enough volatility for trading for myself. Um, this is hopefully a slightly smoother uh, approach to trading. Um, so low volatility, again, I, I under, do do a, uh, a monthly volatility figure, so you can compare that. They do put a value on that, so you can see what it looks like. And it, so the detailed search lets you refine all this criteria. So let's just uh, flip back and have a look, and then we'll start following some people. So we'll, we'll actually put this together and start doing it. Hold on a second, let me flip you back onto here. Here we go. So let's say, so the, what, the first thing I do, and I only tend to review this every month. Uh, I did follow some people uh, this evening ahead of this, this seminar on another account. But let me show you, uh, what I wanna look at is, is probably the last six months, and I wanna see real money traders. So there we go, so I can filter out straight away by clicking up here people who are trading uh, on a demo account. So I want to see people who are trading with uh, with real money. And then if I want to, I can drill down. I can go to detailed search, this tab here. So I can say, okay, show me people whose performance is between X and Y levels if I want to, whose maximum drawdown, who haven't given back more than, if I only want to say they've never given back more than 15% of their account in losses, I can do that. Clearly, it's going to limit the number of people. That you have access to me i'll just leave it on the maximum monthly volatility you can choose to have a relatively low level of volatility if that's something that suits you then there are, there are some industry standard uh measurements as well like uh sharp ratio ma ratio you can choose people who are pop popular uh i'm not bothered if they're popular i just want them to be profitable uh number of trades if you want someone who trades 10 times a day 20 times a day you can have that uh, and all of them, and traded within the last 31 days. So again, if you'd rather people who traded recently, you can have that in there. And then it comes up with your list, you know, based on on that that criteria. So there's our list, and I can flip up here and say I just want to see real money traders. Here we go. And then I can sort them by their P&L. So for example, let's say pivot. So this pivot person, uh, relatively early, it looks like in their trading career. 
Um, so maybe only a, a new edition. P and L last six months. Actually, let's make it last six months. Let's do that. Let's keep the figure constant. P and L last six months, 175%, which is outrageous. Uh, but it's given back maximum drawdown, 87%. It's given back an awful lot of the account, and you can see the volatility just in the chart of their profit or loss. So for me, I'm not really too interested. Uh, for me, to be honest, in that one, Trade Goat. Uh, again, we looked, we just looked at this one, um, but cracking return over the last six months, 173%. Massive drawdowns though, so massive volatility, and you can see the chart. So for me, turned it round. So maybe one to watch. But for me, maybe not one at the moment. But this one's interesting, Hectorius. Um, so return over the last six months, 126%. Relatively low drawdown figure. Look at the drawdown figure here compared to these two up here. So it seems you know, quite a cautious approach. Still quite volatile month on month. Um, and there's the, the P&L chart. So if I click on Hectorius, he might be one I'm interested in following. Here we go. So... Um, Seems to, uh, it doesn't really go into too much depth in the strategy. I have a link to your money account and I use proprietary indicators. I could like to keep drawdowns low and profits regular. Well, me too. Uh, and I can say, okay, well, how have you done? So how long have you been registered for? So a member since October 2015. The one caution here for me, only been doing real money since this month. Yeah, so it has been trading on a demo and building up a track record, but only went live on real money July 2016. 669 followers already. The last three months performance looks like that, uh, up about 40%. The last month, up about just over 5 6%. The last seven days uh, hasn't traded, so 0%. Okay, so it gives you, you know, quite a bit of detail. And if we scroll down, we can see things like, well, how has their monthly performance been? We want people, hopefully, who can churn profits every month. You can see one thing sticks out here, March, 71% return in March. So March... You know, clearly something of a bonanza month for some reason. But if you took that out of the equation, you know, still still good profits, I think, in the other months. And like I say, you know, as we know at the moment, interest rates around the world are, uh, are not very much, you know, at the rock bottom. So for me, if I can find a relatively low stress way of churning a 1% to 2% profit a month, then I am very, very happy. And it gives you details down here, the sort of markets they trade. Uh, what markets have been profitable for them, what haven't. So you can really see a lot of information. But for me, I just tend to treat them as a trend, and I want to follow uh, sort of five five traders. You can follow up to five on your account, uh, and, I, and I do like to follow five. So if I click on follow, I'd end up following him. Um, but I've already got him. Actually, I've already got him set up on my account. So if you're if you're following them, if you click on follow, it will then take you through to uh, this window here. So you'll see this account. And uh, in the best uh, practice of Blue Peter, here I, I, here's some stuff I'd done earlier. So I've already followed Hectorius, the chat we were looking at, and I followed uh, three others as well. So these are both real money traders, and these are um, demo account traders. I thought I'd put a bit of a mix in for this evening. So I've got the five people in my account that I want to follow. And what it shows you then down here is theoretically... If I'd followed those since December last year, then by today, I would have made 134%. Isn't that fantastic? Unfortunately, of course, in the real world, I can't go back on my account and do all those trades from December. But that's the, the theoretical return I'd have from following those people. And over the last three months, I would have made uh, 40% if I'd followed those trades. So... um. And we're hoping, of course, that they carry on with a similar level of performance. So now, because I've set these up, their trades are actually live on my account. I only set this up an hour and a half ago, so I don't think anyone's actually traded yet. But before we get into that, let me just show you some other things we can do, because I'm, I'm a big fan of keeping the risk at a sensible level. I think the best, you know, I, I'm you know, quite a convert, I think, to social trading. I think it's very complementary to sort of normal trading. But... And I think the best way of figuring out how it works is to do it, but do it small. So what you can do is on each of these, there's a there's a little spanner icon. If you click on that, <coughs> if if this Hectorius person was the only trader I'd follow it, I was following, and the setting was set to one times, what it means is if he loses two percent on his account, let's let's pretend he's got a million euro account. If he loses two percent, then I lose two percent on my 
500 quid accounts okay so you follow them uh, one to one that's how it works and if I was really confident I can say well actually if they do a trade I want to do 10 times the equivalent size uh, on my account or, or anything in between it's not something I would recommend so for me or you can have it down to 0.5 times so you can dial in the level of risk when it comes to copying their trades what I do as well because because you've got five people or because I've got five people sorry that I'm following the effective risk factor is even less with five traders in your portfolio you're then following every trader with a fifth so automatically if it's at this level here if Hectorius loses 1% I'll lose a fifth of 1% because he's one of my five traders and you can dial that down even even less if you want to okay so you can match them at half the size they're trading or match them up to 10 times the size of the trading so you can put a level of risk on there uh, that you're happy with and then as soon as you're happy and it's done <coughs> excuse me there'd normally be a button here saying execute on live account but I'm already doing that and you click on it a warning comes up uh, and that's it you're away and if I go to live account I don't actually know they've not done any trades yet so this is what I've set up for this evening so these are the trade the traders I'm following I only set it up about an hour ago, started following them. So my balance, 525 quid, and my um, th there's no there's no open PL. I'll show you another account I've got running in a minute so you can see how it works. What you can also do, if you have an account set up, you can say you can use this stop loss protection. Here we go. So click on that and say, right, um, if the your balance of your account, including the open profit and losses, falls to a certain level please close all trades okay so I've, I've put on here 250 pounds so I'm quite happy for trades to go through but if it falls uh, to a certain level what you know a level decided by me uh, then please close everything so it's like a it's like a stop loss on your account you know that you're, you're, you're sort of trusting these people to trade on your account in the first place but there's also you can add an extra stop loss on to protect it and if suddenly you log in and think actually I need some time to think about this you can just click this button here if I do that now stop execution now I've got the option to deactivate all of these live traders uh, on my account if that makes sense okay let me show you I've got another account that's running some um, trades let me show you what that looks like so this is uh, let me flip it over there we go so that's another account I've been running for a few months now that you should be able to see there we go so that's um this is so there's some other people I'm following in there there's my account balance there's the the current open position of trades I put a stop loss on of five thousand two hundred pounds um, and you can just see that because I'm, I'm doing it relatively low risk so I'm mimicking half their size but because there's five of them it ends up being uh, effectively sort of point one of their size and there's lots of sort of micro trades on there and you can scroll through you see all the open positions and you scroll down and see any any closed positions you know and it's one of those things it's a it's it's quite I mean I, I've been sort of spread betting and trading CFDs for uh, a few years now uh, for sort of 10 15 years but it's still quite disconcerting to see trades going through on an account that's yours and you've got nothing to do with it it takes a little bit of getting used to but once you do it you just I mean I, you know, I don't I, I do check it once a day just to see what's going on but because the level of risk is relatively low you know I think it's um it's like it's like you're you're like a, a the, the team manager and you're managing um, a group of traders you know so I think it's a really interesting and complementary way of trading the markets you know on top of either doing it yourself or, or not doing it yourself and if you want some exposure to markets <coughs> but I think like lots of people you don't have the time uh, or maybe the inclination to sit there and look at what markets to trade I think it's a really interesting way of getting involved in things like indices and currencies all this sort of stuff but you're actually trying to pick traders to do it for you mimic it on an account in a size that you're happy with and um, and run it from there you know I think it's a really really sort of interesting approach and I think like I said I think the best way to learn is to actually do it you know I think you can start following people I think from as little as I think a hundred pounds in an account if you're a UK resident or, or 125 if you're continental European um, but um, I think that's the best way to learn how it works 
and that's it really it is as straightforward as that and I think for me the beauty of it is the tools you get to find people who may suit your own trading style you know for me it, there are a few I think social trading brokers out there but the reason the reason I like working with Aon though is I think their support's good uh, it's a you know it's a good committed team in the UK and um, it's just easy to use. It's, it's not, you know, you don't, I don't need a million bells and whistles. I just need to know what these traders are doing, what their performance is like, and follow them at a level of risk uh, to suit me. So Ed Edel Metal, he's one, he or she, sorry, is one that I've got at the moment. You can see cracking, uh, cracking trends uh, there in terms of profit or loss. So that's one I think I'm following on both accounts. So 137% return since registration when was registration it's only may may this year okay let's look at the last month it's been a bit of a choppy month for some of these people you can see a bit of chop over the brexit uh for some of these trades but it seems to us uh sort of pulled it together and just does lots and lots of trades i think quite an active trader this one there we go 1172 trades so a lot and there's there's sort of open positions got a few losing positions there and scroll down to see some of the uh the risk metrics and some of the positions that have been closed but you can see again a, a cracking monthly performance you know may and june or well, may maybe a bit tricky but you can follow these traders uh, on your account with a level of cash that you're happy with and just see how it goes and i just sit down every month review how they've done and if and if a trader looks like they've gone somewhat off the boil they've maybe lost their mojo for a month um, maybe look to swap them out for somebody else and that's it. It's as straightforward as that. So that's really all I've got to say um, tonight. So if, if you have any questions, type them into the check of the question box. I'll show you, just show you the screen now. Because what? Because clearly, of course, I've got a commercial relationship uh, with Aondo. So if a clients who come in um, near me, there are clients who get flagged up if they come in from a webinar I've done or come from my website. So what I'm doing is for people who go to my website and apply uh, to the account, for the account with Aondo, um, I'm do uh, I, I'm doing special webinars. So I'm doing you know more and more webinars. So if you go to my webinar, my website, uh, the website is uh, tradeafter.com. If you go there, there's a page I've written uh, on social trading. So I've written some stuff like we did, like we've been through this evening on social trading, how it works. So if you don't have if you don't have an account, take a look there and uh, and see. Uh, there's also I think a recording of the last social trading webinar and i'll put that i'll put this one up because this one is being recorded so i'll put that one up on the website as well but there's a bit more information on social trading and really you know why for me i think it's an interesting way of uh of trading so that's there on my website tradeafter.com and i think somewhere in there there we go there's a little uh box to add your email address to hear about future webinars i am doing a webinar tomorrow i do a weekly webinar uh, the market outlook webinar so that's at 12 30 tomorrow lunchtime uh, so wherever you signed up for this webinar it should be on the same page uh, i think it should be on the same page as that so 12 30 tomorrow we're doing the uh the social trading not the social trading webinar the, the market outlook webinar so i'm doing that and that's really a, a sort of traditional market outlook webinar looking at uh, major levels to watch all that sort of stuff uh, where the trading opportunities may be in the days and the weeks to come something's gone wrong here because my screen has stopped working on a second let me see if I can make that work there we go it's back now it's all working but like I said there's a question coming through now let me just see if there are any questions uh, if you do have any questions after this feel free to drop me an email uh, david at tradeafter.com uh, trading individual stocks is with no commissions. Yes, if you trade, if you trade yourself through Aondo, so you trade, I don't know, um, Barclays or BMW or Vodafone, because you're trading on a contract for difference or a spread bet, uh, there's no commission. You'll normally pay a wider bid offer spread than you would in the underlying market, but um, yeah, it's no commission. Uh, how much do you typically make on a 500 bank using my risk parameters? Well, if I if I go to my my demo account the first month, I made um, on 500 quid it would have made about 75 quid, but with a massive swing in volatility, so there's a 15% return. If I look at this month, um, if I look at that account, the other account that we just showed you, I think it was at, it's at what five nine now, and it was about 5,800 at the beginning of the month, so it's made uh, what a couple of percent. 
in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're only, you know, we're only two or three weeks into the month, aren't we? We'll see what the rest of the month is like. But for me, you know, I've been doing it with real money for about three months now, uh, and it's and it's turning, you know, it, it it has, you know, turned a profit. So for me, it's it's all about, um, you know, not having massive expectations, but having well thinking actually, if it can sit there and make a profit, month in and out or quarter in and out. You know, it's an interesting approach to markets. You know, maybe a slightly more longer term, lower stress approach. And I still do. You know, I still do my normal trade. I've got a few trades open at the moment on uh, gold and oil and the German DAX. So I still do uh, my own sort of trading. But um, I think this is quite complementary. You know, to try and pick other traders to run a percentage of your your trading account for you. Okay. That's it then. If there's no more questions, we'll wrap we'll wrap things up there. Oh, no, there's one more question. Let's say you're following a trader, and then adjusted to two or three percent. Are I correct to think the change will only apply to future trades? That's a very good question. Yeah, if you suddenly, if you if you've only been following them one for one, so if they lose two percent, uh, then you lose two percent. If you then dial that up to sort of two or three times it doesn't magically affect their historical performance or your historical performance. It doesn't suddenly increase your profits in the past. Uh, you're right. It will just apply to, uh, to future trades. Okay. But like I say, to find out more, uh, if you if go to my website, which is tradeafter.com or jonesthemarkets.com, if you're not a client of Aondo, if it's all a bit new to you, go to there to find out more. I do regular webinars. We're doing this webinar again probably in a couple of weeks uh, time. Tomorrow at 12.30, we're doing the Market Outlook webinar, um, and there'll be a recording of that, and I'll put that on Twitter. Um, but otherwise, um, just, just take a look and uh, see what you think. And like I say, if you open an account, you get uh, – Two or three, you get three weeks of a demo account to play around with. <coughs> the minimum of account size, like I said, is is a hundred pounds or a hundred euros. So in US dollars, what's that? 150 US dollars. I don't think you can do it. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough. Hold on a second. <coughs> if you're a US resident, you can't do this. So again, the same way you can't do spread betting or CFDs if you're a US resident. I don't think you can do this if you're US, but if you're UK or continental European, then it's all fine. <coughs> oh, South African, I think you should be. Drop drop me an email, actually. I'll find out for you. So you drop me an email to um, markets at jonesdc.com and let me find out for you if I can. I'm coughing here, so I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna wrap things up. But we'll put I'll put the uh, the recording up tomorrow. And uh, any questions, let me know. And enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks very much for coming along.